Good afternoon. Welcome to Holy Trinity Church on this, the 2nd of November, the Feast of All Faithful Departed, or All Souls Day or El Dia de los Muertos. I welcome you. Thanks for coming out to pray with us today. I want to thank especially Kristen Larson and Luke Weld for music on this special feast day. And Paige has brought us a new painting to bless, which I get to keep. It's a, a bird. I look at it as a very hopeful bird. And thank you, Paige. So thank you for joining us today. And uh, Betsy and Ed brought some spiffy new masks, which they're wearing and which I have been wearing today. It's quite a, quite a celebration. So welcome, everyone, and thank you for coming out. In the darkness of this passing age, your saints declare your presence and bring to us your glory. Glory to God forever. Today we come to remember, we remember those we love but see no longer. Those faithful who have departed into your loving hands, and especially those 230,000 people and more who have died in this United States so far during this COVID-19 pandemic. Creator and lover of souls, you uphold us in life and sustain us in death. Our God who cares for us all. For us you have raised from death a mighty Savior who like a rising dawn shines on those who dwell in the shadow of death. We thank you for our loved ones whom we see no longer and for all our forebears. Renew in us gratitude for those from whom we came. For it was you who gave them their being and it was they who gave us their love. As the sun rises in the east, so they arose out of your love. In the dimness of memory, this alone we know, that as the sun goes to its rest in the west, so they rest in you. The psalm for the day is Psalm 130. I think what I'd like to do is read that and ask you to respond with the even number of verses. Out of the depths I have called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. There is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, and his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. Oh, Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. It is the will of him who sent me, says the Lord, that I should lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up on the last day. Hallelujah. Another reading. Let's handle that in the same way. Wisdom, chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. And they're going from us to be their destruction, but they are at peace. Their woe in the sight of others they punish, their hope is full of immortality. Having 
having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. Those who trust in him will understand truth and the faithful will abide with him in love because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones and he watches over his elect. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thank you, God. On this day of the saints of life, so the dew that makes faith grow strong, establish in our beings the law of eternal love. On this day of the saints of power, the wrath of the squalls that break, be with us in the eye of the storm, your compass in our hearts. On this day of the saints of virtue, be with us in our tasks, heaven's company sharing our bringing us mercy and grace. Encourage those you call to run their race with all their heart. Keep us worthy of our calling, that we may come with your saints to the glory of our majesty. Great God of the saints, we join our prayers with theirs. Knit us together with those you have already called. Take this in the day when we shall be as they shine, may shine, as we walk in their steps, may we join them in glory everlasting. I now invite you to name those whom you love that are no longer with us. I will bid the names of my friends Amy and Margaret and David, who passed just this last week. I invite your name. O oh God, the maker and redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of your passion of your Son, that on the day of his appearing they may be manifested as your children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Today, we remember the more than 230,000 dead of COVID-19 in the United States. Today, we bless those known and unknown who have died of this pandemic. Today, we remember those we love but see no longer. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Good Lord, remember them. On this day we gather to offer our prayers for those who have died, for those who grieve, for those who mourn, for this our nation, for the nations of the world, that God would hear our prayers and heal all our lands. Father of all, we pray to you for those who have died of this pandemic and we see no longer. Grant them your peace, let light perpetual shine upon them, and in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of mercies and giver of comfort, do graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, that casting all our care on you, we may know the consolation of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Remembering especially Stephanie and David's family. 
and all of those who depended upon him. Remembering Margaret's family and all of those who knew and loved her. Creator, O God of grace and glory, we place in the shadow of your wings this day those who will die before this pandemic ends. Have mercy upon them and grant them rest in peace. In your boundless compassion, gather them into the arms of your mercy. Lead them into the perfection of your love for them and raise them in glory. Creator of love and mercy, we ask for the strength to persevere in love, for wisdom to be guided to a cure, for your boundless compassion and for willingness to share freely with one another, for the assurance of your abundance and a clear pathway to peace, and for the miracle of your peace. Spirit of truth, give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before. All this we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite you to join in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil this time I invite you to bring your prayers of gratitude and prayers for the living. I named Thomas Waldo, an infant born early. May he continue to flourish, O Lord, and grow into the fullness of your love. I pray for Leah that she might receive a good diagnosis that will help her, and I pray for her recovery. And I pray for Leah and um, for her travel and that she may return safely to us uh, tomorrow evening along with her traveling companion who has been a great helper to her. I pray as well for Michael, Deacon Michael, and for his spouse, our beloved D. Ellen, that they might have safe travel and a, a safe visit to Colorado this month. I ask you to bring your prayers at this time. Oh yes, thank you, Paige. We pray for our nation in this time of turbulence and manipulation and great, great sums being expended upon this election. May we, as a nation, make good choices and not be prevented from those choices. We ask all this in your mercy, O Lord. Amen. Give rest, O Christ, to your servants with your saints where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of all, and we are mortal, formed from the dust of the earth. And unto earth we shall return. For so you ordained when you created me, saying, dust you are, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet weeping at the grave, we make our song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give rest, O Christ, with your servant. 
saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign, but life everlasting. Hear us, O merciful Father, as we remember and love those whom we've placed in your hands. Acknowledge, we pray, the sheep of your own fold, lambs of your own flock, sinners of your own redeeming, and fold them in the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and in the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Amen. God, maker and redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of the passion of your Son, that on the day of his appearing they may be manifested as your children, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Neither death nor life can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Thanks be to God. Go in peace, love and serve the Lord. Let's go.
Thank you to Hannah Adina for that. Go in peace.